I've spent years studying the most successful consultants and consulting businesses. And I've had the pleasure to work with hundreds of consulting business owners personally at Consulting Success, as well as having thousands more go through our programs. From all that, I identified five essential skills. These are the skills that the most successful consultants have and the same skills that I would encourage you to make sure that you have inside of your business to achieve real higher levels of success. All right, so let's get into them. Number one is the ability to make complex things really simple. This is the consultant's ability to go beyond surface level. I think this is actually what really separates great consultants from just people who struggle or aren't really able to create massive value for clients, right? The most successful consultants are inquisitive. They like to learn. They like to kind of peel the layers back while the average person will just ask surface level questions and their opinions and advice and recommendations is surface level meaning that it's average. They take the same information, they ask the same questions, they say the same things as everybody else. But the exceptional elite consult goes way beyond that. They dig deeper, right? They look for not only what is happening at the surface level, but they're going levels deeper, right? They're asking questions to figure out what is the root cause? What is really happening here? And they have this ability to take things that to many people, especially their clients and those around them, appear to be very, very complex. And sometimes they often are complex, but they're able to take those complex ideas and concepts and situations and boil it all down, analyze it, figure out what is the root cause, what's actually going on here, and then be able to simplify it. That's something that we hear consistently is the ability to take things that are really complex and make them simple. All right, number two is communication. This all comes down to your ability to communicate effectively. The most successful consultants are those that not only can take things from being complex and kind of turn them into simple ideas, but you need to then be able to communicate those ideas. If you're collecting a lot of information, you're analyzing, if you're asking questions, right? You're doing interviews, you're doing the research, right? You're filtering through all of that. That's the, the analytical abilities. But if you're not able to communicate that to your ideal clients or to the marketplace, you're not going to cut it, right? And so this is an ability that, the, again, the most successful consultants have is that they practice and work on and make sure that they can communicate their ideas, their recommendations, their perspectives. And so there's two parts to this. The first is communicating that to actual clients in the work that you do day to day with them. That might be getting up and delivering a presentation, right? A PowerPoint or something like that. It might be getting on stage and giving a talk at a conference or an event. It might be writing and, you know, putting together an article or a white paper that is published in a trade publication. It might just be you sitting across from your client or a prospective client having a conversation, but your ability to communicate your ideas and what you have found is incredibly important. And so the second part, which I already touched on is the communication outwardly, right? So not only to clients, but beyond that. So that's the conferences, that's the writing. Those are the two different ways of thinking about communication. You have internal communication, which should be working and communicating right with your clients and then external to the marketplace before you even have clients. And I would add a third to that, this actually, which is related to internal, but it's communicating with your team if you have a team. And even if you're a solo consultant, but you work with contractors, right, or freelancers or people part-time, those are also part of your team. And so learning how to communicate effectively is an ability that the most successful consultants have, because if you're not able to communicate, you won't be able to share your great ideas. You won't be able to share your opinions or perspectives, right? You won't be able to get people's attention. You won't be able to compel or to make your case to a client, or you won't be able to motivate and encourage a team member. So communication is number two. All right, number three is project management. And that is all about the ability to get things done, to execute, to implement. Some people come up with ideas, but ideas by themselves that don't get implemented mean nothing. And so the most successful consultants ensure that the ideas that they have or their team members have get done, right? They get implemented, they get actions. This is a really important skill set. And I'll talk more about in a moment how to make sure that you can have this skill set or that this skill set shows up inside of your company, even if you don't feel that you have it right now. But that's number three is project management. It is be able to move things along and to get them done, essentially, right, to execute. Number four is the ability to be flexible, right? This is an essential skill because we are in a world where nothing stays the same, or at least it feels like that, right? There's always changes in technology and AI and developments, but even as simple as changes with our clients, you start working with a client and all of a sudden the plan that you had that you had agreed to takes a hard kind of turn. 
customer. And that isn't always in the control of your client, right? Things happen. There are changes to the macro environment, right? To the economies, there's wars, there's illnesses, right? There's pandemics, right? Things happen in the markets. Regulations change, laws change, right? All kinds of stuff happens. And much of that is going to be out of your control. And sometimes that's even out of your client's control. So how do you deal with that change? How do you deal with things when they aren't certain? You need to be flexible. You need to be adaptable. And so this ability is not just about understanding that, it's actually being able to, to live it. And I'll give you an example. One consultant might hear a client say, hey, we're having a change in our industry. We're not gonna be able to do what we said we we're gonna do. We're gonna have to shelf this project or you know make some adjustments. Well, consult A might say, no, like this is what we agreed to. And they might really push and fight to stick with what was agreed to beforehand. And that's that might work for them, but it also might not. The second consult might say, okay, I understand. Let's talk about this. Let's have a conversation to explore together what we need to do and what our options are to make sure that we create an outcome that is going to work for, you know, for you. And of course, work for me as well and, and my business, right? You have to think about yourself too and, and your business and your team. But the second consult is generally going to fare much better, right? They're going to see better results. They're going to build stronger relationships because they are letting their clients know that they are open. They're willing to have conversations. They're willing to be flexible, to make adjustments. You know, they're not rigid in their thinking. And this is something that we see consistently. And I think is becoming more and more important in the world that we're in, where there's so much uncertainty, there's so much change. I mean, the only thing that doesn't change is the idea that change is always happening, right? And so finding ways to be more flexible, to not be, you know, not reacting instantly or impulsively and letting your emotions or your prior beliefs get the best of you, right? Being open to exploring, to hearing different perspectives, to having conversations, to brainstorm with your clients is a really good skill to have. All right. So the fifth and final essential skill, and this is critically important. It is all about relationships. Having a long-term mindset is what sets successful consultants apart from those who might dabble in some success. They might win a project here or there. They might seem like they're doing really well, but if you go into the future a little bit or look back in time, right? Generally, they don't last or the success doesn't last very long. Why does that happen? It is because the consultant who focuses on transactions, the consultant who just focuses on themselves, the consultant who is rushing to, you know, get that win tomorrow, even if that win isn't the right thing for them, for their team, or for their client, those are the people that tend to not last or not have long lasting success. When you show up and your mindset is all about giving before you try and get, you tend to be rewarded. When you embrace the idea of long term and knowing that everything that you're doing is for the long term and that you're not judging success by what happens tomorrow or even next month, but you give yourself a much longer time horizon, what you're doing is you're creating an advantage for yourself because there are so many people who will impulsively, right? Or because they are greedy or just they see kind of a shiny object, they go towards it, they try it, but they don't last because they don't see the results that they want over a period of time and they give up. This is why in any industry, any business, and I remember, you know, feeling this way myself back in the day with some of my earlier businesses that I'd always be looking around and viewing competitors and going, you know, do I have to be worried? What I found is that when you just stay focused on your mission, who your ideal clients are, giving before trying to get, just creating massive value. As long as you focus on, on that stuff, the noise of your competitors really doesn't matter that much. And I'm not saying put your head in the sand and don't even consider what's happening around you, but simply that a lot of the people that are doing the similar things that you might be doing right now, that you might be concerned about right now and spending time on, they're going to drop off. They're going to kind of drop like flies over time because they have a short-term mindset. Those that have a long-term mindset have an advantage over those that have a short-term mindset. All right, so we talked about the five essential skills for you to create a, a really successful consulting business. The reality, however, is that you can be good at all five of these, but generally you're not gonna be great at all five. You might be very good at analysis, but terrible at communication. You might be really good at building relationships, but really you know, quite poor at project management. And so for you to create an exceptional business, it's important to identify and take kind of inventory of what you are great at and what you are not so great at. And then the secret becomes delegation. Rather than trying to be amazing at project management, if you know that you're just not good with all the fine details, then rather than you trying to figure that out, find somebody who can help you and can come on even as a contractor or part-time or maybe even full-time 
to take on that role. And that's really what creates the most successful companies. It's when the founder identifies and recognizes what they're really good at and brings in people that can help them initially with the areas that they're not so good at. So you find somebody who's great at project management if you're not great at it. If you're really strong in kind of you know analysis and turning complex into, into simple, but you're not that good at communicating it, get help with the communication part. Or if you're very strong in communication yourself, but you're not that good at analysis, there's a lot of people out there who are amazing at analysis. So delegate, find people who can help you. Even you don't have to be great yourself at all five of these, but collectively between you or the team that you build, you can be great at all of them. If you want to learn more about how to build a successful consulting business, we have hundreds of articles over 300 plus podcasts of the Consulting Success Podcast, resources, guides, more surveys, studies, data, really everything that you need to build a successful consulting business. We've worked with over you know thousands of consultants at this point through our different programs and hundreds personally in our coaching programs. Head over to consultingsuccess.com and look into some of those resources to take your consulting business to the next level.